What's up, everybody? I'm Kerry Hart. And you're on Pain TV. Hi, right, I'm Chiss. And I'm Matt. And you're watching Pain TV. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Pain TV. I am Becky, and we are here at L3 with uh, Matt and Chris from Dead and Divine. Uh, remember, this episode is brought to you by Heart and Huntington Niagara, so please go to heartandhuntingtonniagara.com. And check out uh, their website for all your tattoo and piercing needs. So you guys have played all three silver times now. And uh, what about the St. Catharines crowd actually keeps bringing you back, you back here? I don't know. It's just it's awesome every time we come. And the kids here are super energetic. And, yeah, it's just a good time, man. We've always we've played in St. Catharines for a while now. So I don't know. It just, just works. It's kind of like a second hometown for us. So I like it. It's good. It's good. Good times. Good times. Well, we like having here. So Thank you. It's even. Um, now, you just finished recording, uh, not too long ago, your new album, Antimacy. I did. And uh, what can we expect to hear on this new album from you guys? It's more heavy than anything we've ever made. It's more melodic than more everything. Mature. We've it's grown up a lot. in that direction. No. Yeah. That's, like, that's no. like the generic answer. No. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. You want to talk? You want to uh, give your spiel? It's, uh, <laughs> it's us, and uh, I like it more than our last one. Yeah. It's better than the other stuff we did. There's a is there a dog on the roof? I think there's apartments around here, so. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I think it's like I think I think when it came down to it, like working with a, a younger producer that was our age, um, that was kind of like starting his own career, and we're kind of it's just it kind of worked out better. I think we, I think we were a lot more comfortable when it came to this record, so I think it's a lot more like honest. It sounds like a lot of the stuff that we wouldn't have done on the older records. I think we did this time around. And we just said fuck it, and we just. Whatever would be too heavy for machines we are, if there was something that was too weird for the last record, I think we kind of just went with it on this album and kind of just trusted it, and it ended up working out well, I think. Just kind of followed a different path kind of thing? Yeah, kind just of? kind of, yeah, just tried to not, like, limit ourselves so much. It sounds cheesy, but, you know, like, I don't know. And it, yeah, still, it, still, it still sounds it, cliche, but still, it's like... It's still a heavy record. We're, still, we're not reinventing the wheel by any means, but my glasses are fogging up. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's the the heat from your eyeballs and the cold from the air. Yeah. yeah hot eyes. Hot eyes. I got hot air, hot iron eyes. I got hot blow dryer eyes. So would you say your experience is uh, actually recording this album is a lot different than from your previous ones? Definitely. Definitely. Ab absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I like like I said, like the the producer that we went with this time. He was a younger guy. He was like he's our age, mm -hmm. as opposed to last time around we were working with Garth Richardson and Eric Ratz, who were like. Just old fucks, man. Just yeah. old as shit. No, I'm just <laughs> sorry, dudes. If you just, um, no, but they're, they're a lot more, I don't want to say experienced because Jordan's experienced too, but they're a little bit more seasoned. They're kind of they're kind of vets, so it was kind of nerve-wracking going in with those guys. Yeah. So this time around, it was sort of just, it was like going in with a band member. It was like yeah. going in the studio with a friend, so. Yeah. You're on the same out. wavelength, and everything just seemed to flow a lot, a lot easier, you yeah. know? It was just, uh, yeah, su like Chris said, super comfortable, and I don't know. I think it made for... A good record. A really yeah. good record. Yeah. Right on. That it's sounds right, good. Yeah, it's whatever. It's not bad. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. It's, probably, it's probably the best thing since the Beatles. Probably better than the fucking Beatles for all I care. I don't know. Shitty nice. Beatles? Shitty Beatles. This is Crucial Tonk. Are they any good? We changed your name to Crucial Tonk. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you guys actually... Uh, <laughs> You have a tour coming up in May. Yeah. Um, those are all Canadian dates. They are. Can we expect anything cross border anytime soon? Or? Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna be going back to Europe and we're gonna be going back to the UK. Hopefully by the end of summer. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like the plan right now. Um, we want to try to get to Japan and Australia this year. That's like been a goal for us. So yeah. uh, as for the U.S., I right now we're talking to another band about doing something like a special little mini thing. Um, but we can't really announce it, so. Okay. But yeah, yeah, we'll be in the U.S. definitely like a bunch this year, so the U.S., uh, U.K., Europe, soon yeah. enough. Yep. So if people want to uh, keep track of you guys and look for these upcoming uh, exclusive announcements that won't be made on Paint TV tonight, uh, where can they go to check it out? Uh, we have like a phone mailing list. We have like a like it's like a calling list, and we'll call you and tell you what's up. We have like a person. Personally, you'll personally call. Yeah. Every single fan. Yeah, our tour manager will, Chris yeah. Kagan. <laughs> hudgety, hudgety. If you have any problems ever with anything regarding our band or just life, you go to him and he'll. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Hill they put too, too much su to they put too out. much sub sauce on your 12 inch assorted. Call Gag and he'll fix it for you. He'll reach out. Nice. I hear that's a big problem these days. Actually, uh, him, think, the uh, sandwich artists are having a little the trouble. Sandwich artists. That's, that's what they call themselves now. I don't know. It's like custodial arts as a janitor. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sandwich artists. You make fucking shitty food. You make five dollar food. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking shit though, because we ate Subway every day that we were in the studio. So well, such is life on a tour, right? Yeah, it's not bad. So, but uh, well, I don't even remember what the question was. Jared lost a lot of weight. He did. Fuck that guy though. He's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't doesn't everyone not like him? I think so. He's kind of a douchebag. They just kind of be nice to him just because. Well, fuck him. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. <laughs> don't actually. He's all, he's kind of ugly. Keep away from that shit. <laughs> Um, I don't, what was the question though? What? Where, where can oh, people where can go to find you? Yeah. Where, where, what the fuck we're yeah. doing? Oh, okay. Uh, Twitter.com slash deadnavine, deadnavineblog.tumblr.com, and obviously myspace.com slash deadnavine, and facebook.com slash deadnavine. Okay. www.deadnavine.com. Don't worry if you didn't get any of that. Uh, we'll have links for you at the end of the episode, so, right uh. Here. They could be. They you, could be. Can I be with the them? magic of editing, we can yes, grasp them. And I'll just go. And then I'll fucking go. <laughs> do it. You must. <laughs> I think we will. This is Nick. <laughs> and this is Josh. And we're from Baptized in Blood. And you're watching Pain TV. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to Pain TV. This episode, like every episode, is brought to you by Hart and Huntington, Niagara. Run on down there, get yourself a free piercing. All you gotta do is mention you want the pain special, and it's all yours. Really? Yes. Hey, you guys. That. I might do that after the show. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's open. Wow. Well, you, you guys could too. It's open till 11, I think. 10 yeah. or 11. <laughs> Just tell them you want the pain special. Anyways, we're here with Josh and Nick from Baptized in Blood. It's not a Prince Albert, is it? Uh, I don't know if they would do that. Not for free. <laughs> Maybe. You can always ask. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Pain TV. Thanks Thank you. Us. Welcome to St. Catharines. Thank not like much. it's your first time here. No, but, definitely not. No. no. What do you guys uh, like about playing St. Catharines? It's always a good turnout for you guys. It is always a good turnout, uh, especially like the club here, L3. Um, I don't know, it's just got a really cool vibe to it. Um, kids go ape shit here. It's awesome. Yeah, I saw they had the steel barrier set up upstairs. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Makes for a fun time. Ready for some kids going ape shit. <laughs> so, uh, you guys had your CD release here, did you not? In April, yes, or uh, yeah, October 19th, a, I think it was? The CD was released on the 19th, and we did a show here a few days after that, I think. Yeah. How was the turnout for that? Amazing. It was awesome. How's the CD selling? I, got, like, I know that CD is excellent. It's going really well. It's got to be, like, I, honestly, it's, like, it hasn't really left my CD player. I actually <laughs> bought the CD, too. I'm not, one of, I, I didn't download it or anything. I actually own it, so. Thank you very much, thanks. No problem. I support what I like, so. And, uh, like, on a, I don't know if, I'm not sure if you guys were in the band, like, five years ago, but we talked to you guys. I don't know if, like I said, I can't remember. It's five years ago, but it was seen. And mm -hmm. uh, we asked you guys, like, what's different about, uh, baptized in blood compared to like other metal bands or whatever and you guys said well we're all about having fun and you guys had confetti cannons <laughs> at that show and I was like yep yeah, that's uh, definitely I I remember different. that. that was, it was that, we were talking uh, to like Joel and our old bass player Brad maybe. yeah we were outside talking yeah, by yeah. a trailer and then you guys sprayed us with silly string <laughs> which was uh, pretty different too it took me a while to, a while to get it all off my camera but <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> it's all right. Party. It's all good. We're still here. You're still here. And uh, you guys have been playing a lot of big shows, too. Yeah, yeah we have. Yeah. We just uh, finished a tour about a month ago with Devil Driver and Cancer Bats. That was crazy, eh? It was awesome. <laughs> and now you got uh, Heavy T.O. coming up. Sure do, yeah. You got to be excited about that. Can't wait. Can't you bet. Wait. I can't wait either. <laughs> Motorhead's playing, man. I know. That's sick. At least I'm kind of happy Toronto didn't get Kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. I wish they got in flames, though. Yeah. Well, some of the bands are playing. They're back and forth, right? Yeah. But no in flames. It's be a good show. Never yeah, mind. it's still going to be kick ass. Yeah. Would you say uh, that's probably one of your biggest shows? That will probably be. We played Heavy MTL last yeah. year, and that was the biggest show we've ever played by yeah. far. We played at like 2 in the afternoon to like 10, 11,000 people. Awesome. Yeah, it was nuts. You guys, uh, I know the CD pretty much just came out, but uh, what are you guys, you guys going into the studio anytime soon? Or are you guys just going to keep touring and promoting the shit out of it? Uh, there's no plans to go back yet. 
we're still rocking this one pretty hard. Yeah. So, um, but we've been working on things at home, like trying to write some new tunes for the next record. So just to be prepared, you know. But, just trying to uh, tour all summer, play this record a lot, and hopefully get over to Europe in June. That's the plan. So that would be sweet. Play all the big, big festivals. festivals over there. Yeah. <laughs> couple of club shows and stuff over there too so that'll be awesome how's the fan base over there do you know like how much she's got a lot of sales we like talk that? to a lot of people from over there who tell us they like our tunes and like our band but like we haven't played over there yet so it's kind of hard to gauge but yeah. we've had tons of positive feedback from people over there so yeah. well, that's awesome yeah. i wish you guys all the best of luck and uh thanks again awesome. for being on pain Thank tv you. hey thanks for having pain us tv Woo.